Somewhere deep in space, Kick the PJ was in cryogenic sleep, having vivid dreams again. Cosmic Anthology. I haven't seen this in a hot minute. I'm certain I left this in some abandoned diner on Urbunda for somebody else to find. Was it not ready to leave me yet? How curious. Hi, so... This is weird. I recently rediscovered something that I have not seen for a while. My... Cosmic Anthology. I say that as if you're supposed to know what that means. Let me explain. This is essentially a journal that I would use whenever I go on a space excursion. I'd fill it with valuable information in hopes that one day when I'm gone and the book has a new owner, it would be of some use. Oh man, the best places to eat, planets to avoid, the beasts and horrors to watch out for, cool stories and artwork that I've found on my travels. I've got a minute. Do you want to take a look? Well, would you look at that? All the wonderful people this book has passed through. It's kind of amazing, really, that at one point or another, all these people would have added a little personal something to this journal. And then I found it. <laughs> I've stuck a little note from myself at the beginning. Greeting, space traveler. My name is PJ, tiny planet explorer. And this is my cosmic anthology. Well... It's not strictly mine. It has belonged to several others, so when I found it, I claimed it as my own. The old finder's keeper's rule of law. If you are reading this, then I have accidentally left it behind on my previous adventure. You do not need to return it. In fact, hold on to it for as long as possible, and let it be your guide to the many curiosities of the cosmos. Bizarre planets, ancient literature, delicious foods, terrible monsters, and marvelous creatures. PJ. Well, let's keep going then. Now, that's a planet I've been to before, but I remember when I went there, they were having a bit of a cold snap at the time. All the candy floss completely inedible. The planet had basically frozen. I'm not gonna lie, it was still kind of cool. Okay, yeah, here's a planet I'm banned from. I've been told not to return to this particular place. This is Planet Strawberry Cake, and it turns out that the planet itself is invaluable to its inhabitants. The creatures who live there use it for their own nutrition. How was I supposed to know it looked like a delicious cake floating in space? Anyway, I've been told not to return because they will, and I quote, Myrtle me. They did say Myrtle. Ooh, musician. You know what? I've always wanted to be able to learn to read music, you know? Maybe if I spent a few months in Musicia, I would pick it up. You know they say you pick up a language quicker if you spend some time in that country? Maybe if I spend some time here, maybe I could learn to read music. It might be worth a pop. A space gift shop. Now this, this is a special place. Basically, the way it works is it's a floating shop in space that sells what seems like brick brac worthless junk. But there is one thing in particular just for you, tailored to you specifically, something you desperately want or need. And you've kind of only got one chance to buy it because when you leave, shop's gone. Forever. I must still have my, where is it? Yeah, here it is. This is what the shop provided to me. It's a train whistle. I'm still yet to understand why I need this in my life, but I trust the space gift shop and I expect it will become apparent to me in time. What else we got in here? Ooh, the Spatium Vermis. Now that is one ugly bozo, let me tell you. I guess some biological cosmic scientist must have logged this because I've never seen one of these with my own eyes. Thankfully, this thing just gobbles up planets like it's crumbs. They've referenced my Space Kids story. I'd only ever really heard tales about these things, so my drawing's not too far off there. And look at that, there's my bun chow. Never got to see it evolve, unfortunately. Mine ran away. I don't even know if it's still on this planet anymore. <laughs> okay, so we got a few little mementos here. These wanted posters are of some of the roughest, toughest bounty hunters in the universe. Yes, that's right. When the hunters become the hunted, you snatch those wanted posters, that's history. This other one, uh, I have no idea who this could be. I have never seen this man before in my life. 
Handsome chap there. Hope they catch him. What's he wanted for? Being uh, handsome? So many stories and interesting cosmic findings. Look at all this. Here's a little piece about planet Glistius, commonly known as the Glitter Planet. The fashion there is out of this world, quite literally, in fact. You know, no matter how many times I visit planet Glistius, I don't think I'll ever understand fashion. Maybe some things are just not meant to be understood. Oh man, I forgot about these. This is my God card collection. I love the art on these things. They are so cool. And I have still not found a collector who will tell me the value of these things. They must be from a really specific set from a really specific part of the universe because nobody's heard of them. Either way, I am determined to find out what they're worth. Fugal pudding. I made the grave error once of thinking this was a sweet treat. Uh, it is not. Nutritious, absolutely. Delicious, no. Not at all, actually. It basically tastes like, if you can imagine the sound of people chewing too loudly, it tastes like that. It's hard to convey, but that's kind of the best I can do. These poems I found, somebody was throwing them away. But you know what I always say? You can't let good poetry go to waste. So I cleaned them up and I stuck them in here. I'll give you a little extract of this one. A poem about leaving. It was a Tuesday night. I dragged myself off of the rough, matted mattress and sat. And I sit and think for a while, soon rising to pour hot, bitter water down my throat. And I sit again, still drinking that water. I look out of my window and all I see is nothing. Nothing as usual. I'll save the rest for later. I know Fuji really wants to hear how this one goes. The Intergalactic Portal Travel System Star Map. Now this is an interesting one, hear me Despite out. Despite how condensed it may seem, this is actually an incredibly useful map of the intergalactic portal travel system. Have you ever been on a tube system and you've looked at the map and thought, what do you want me to do? Travel should not require solving puzzles. And so whoever put this together made what is quite a complex system incredibly simple to read. This may be for kids, but I do not care. And this is where we end. I even left a little note for the next traveler who picks this up. Intrepid Traveler, if you're reading this, the book is yours. May it be your guide through the stickiest of situations. Please use the remaining pages to log your findings. It may very well save another explorer's life one day. And that's it. That's where it currently ends. That's the thing. The whole point of this anthology is to help other people. Well, it's not helping anyone sitting in my drawer, is it? I think it might finally be time to pass this on. You might actually be thinking, all right, PJ, cut the act. What actually is this? Well, this is a neat little labor of love. A little while back, me and my patrons wanted to make something collaboratively. Whilst I merely curated this wonderful piece of art, the contents have been lovingly crafted by many, many very talented people over on my Patreon. This has been a project that's taken a real long time to see through till the end, and now it's finished. And just like the law of the book states, it is all about helping people, so let's use it to help some people. We have physically printed a small run of these zines, and if you would like one for yourself, they are available at kickthepj.com. And all of the proceeds will be directly donated to Doctors Without Borders to help our friends in Ukraine. More information about the charity can be found in the description below, as can the links to the shop. I would really appreciate if you check this out. I can't stress enough just how long we've spent making this wonderful thing. And if you aren't able to donate right now, but you'd still like to take a look at the zine, there's also a free digital copy on my shop for download. So you can still check it out and spend some time really looking at all of the great art and stories that are in here. Thank you very much for watching this video. And also a massive thank you to all of my patrons who got involved with the creation of this. Whether you directly contributed to it or you just came along to the weekly Patreon streams to slowly watch the progress of it get created. Thank you. I'm gonna go launch this into space right now so it can become somebody else's property. Stay rad, check out the zine, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.